One job in the Army National Guard that truly highlights how its soldiers are there for their local communities is the Civil Support Team. Known as CST, these teams are trained to assist civil authorities in the event of chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear incidents. While most Army National Guard soldiers serve part-time, CST soldiers are full-time. They work closely with local emergency management, fire, and police departments. Every state and U.S. territory has at least one CST team stationed within its borders to help protect its citizens from those dangers. We are a unit that deploys to unknown hazards after being called out by the state, the governor. We respond to uh, mitigate those unknown hazards or identify if we can. Clandestine labs, things like that. Obviously, if there's a chemical, biological, radiological response in the state or in the region that we cover as well, we'll cover down on that. When a possible threat is discovered and civilian agencies need their help, CST teams respond quickly. They arrive on the scene with specialized vehicles, including a communications vehicle, command center, and a mobile laboratory. They deploy high-tech tools and equipment designed to help them accomplish their mission as safely as possible. When we have unknown substances, but they know that it's some type of inhalation hazard or something to that effect, and people are trying to get an idea of what it is. That's what our team can specialize in. Once they have identified the hazard, CST soldiers work with local authorities in coming up with a plan to resolve the situation. They offer expert technical advice on ways to respond to the threat, identify possible consequences, and assist with the request for additional military support if it is needed. Their job means they work as part of a larger community effort to protect citizens, and CST soldiers understand how important it is to be a part of that team. Knowing that we could get a call at any moment to go help our local PD, our local fire departments, it's kind of like an adrenaline rush to know that we're responding to something that's unknown that we potentially could be saving lives. That's a huge part of what we do on top of just the training or expertise we can provide is those actual relationships, those building blocks of everything that we need to make sure that this state has that type of response. Soldiers that serve in civil support teams work in the STEM world of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So it's recommended that candidates wanting to be a part of CST have an aptitude for those fields. They will train in chemical and biological agents, laboratory skills, emergency medical techniques, radiation response, and other hazardous material related fields. The skills they learn help prepare them for civilian careers with local agencies working in emergency management. And because Army National Guard soldiers enjoy the benefit of serving close to home, they also get to help out the communities and citizens of their home state. There is, I guess, no greater service to me than being able to help the people in the towns you live in and things like that. And being in the National Guard and being able to give that domestic response, you can be boots on the ground for that. That's a great feeling. You can take pride in knowing what you do. You're always going to be on call and available to give a response. To learn more about civil support teams and some of the STEM careers involved, plus all the jobs available through serving part-time in your home state, talk to a local recruiter or go to nationalguard.com careers stem science.